Day two of jury selection in the Vanderbilt rape trial, and the jury has been dismissed. The trial has been delayed because one of the defense attorneys needs emergency surgery scheduled for this upcoming Monday. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is in our newsroom with what this means for the case. Todd. Well, Vicki, the recovery time for this surgery is only about a week or so, but because of other trials already on the court calendar, this one had to be pushed back to the week of January 12th. An entirely new jury pool will have to be brought in, and everyone has to reset. All right. When court resumed this morning, it was full steam ahead. Jury selection would likely wrap up, and the trial of Brandon Vandenberg and Corey Beatty would be underway. But just as everyone got into place, he did say that I have a tear in my shoulder. Full steam ahead came to a complete stop. Surgery is required if I want to remain active and not lose the use of a portion of my shoulder. I know it will inconvenience a number of people. But uh, we want to do this thing the right way, and I think that is the proper way to do it. One of Corey Beatty's attorneys was injured last week doing yard work. Uh, I was cutting a limb, and um, I heard a pop. And if a torn muscle wasn't fixed now, it could mean permanent damage. The prosecution, they wanted to continue. We moved for a severance. We were ready to go on Mr. Vandenberg. We thought there was no reason why we couldn't continue this trial because we've got numerous witnesses from out of state. A lot of taxpayers' money has been spent to be ready. Vandenberg's attorney said once the motion to break the two cases apart was denied weeks ago, they had prepared a joint defense, and changing the game now would be unfair. To do it in round two of voir dire is something that wouldn't be really fair to our particular defendant. So now, after constant delays, another one. Court is dismissed until January 12th. Now, of course, both sides are going to use this delay to their advantage. They say that they will uh, use it to evaluate expert witnesses, which could be called to testify. Getting that out of the way during this break will likely delay any other delays that might happen once the trial really does get started. In the newsroom tonight, I'm Todd Walker, News Channel 5 HD.